Kat's not the cleverest PR campaigner, and she does something particularly stupid this week. When Alfie wants to talk, she gets a hopes up that he has reconciliation on his mind. Instead, he reveals he wants a divorce, and she goes ballistic. Later, Michael comes to her aid when she has a fight with Roxy, and when he escorts her home, they kiss, then retire inside. Like I said, a stupid move if she wants Alfie back, especially when Roxy winds her up again and she blurts out in front of Alfie she slept with Michael. Kirsty changes the strategy with Max when she realizes being a cow won't work, although Lauren isn't impressed when Abby invites them to dinner at their place. Kirsty breaks the ice at the meal and all is going smoothly until Tanya walks back in. Which way will the indecisive Lothario turn? Lola's upset when she realizes Phil has been back a few days and appears to have other plans when Trish tells him she'll soon be ready to have Lexi back. Lola kicks the door when he refuses to let her see Lexi, but despite a word from Sharon, Phil doesn't look ready to budge. Next we're on the cobbles. Gail's ready to call in the police when she finds her bank details on a slip of paper inside Lewis's jacket and realizes it's Kylie's handwriting. A panicked Kylie wonders whether to confess about Nick, but instead quits the bistro, then gets drunk and falls off a table. David's terrified Kylie will lose the baby as she takes a turn for the worse in hospital. Then Gail realizes the ugly truth as Nick begs her not to tell David just as she's being operated on for a ruptured spleen. Gloria's back from Portugal with an elderly gent, Eric, and Stella's convinced she's after his money, an exchange that he overhears. Instead, Eric turns his charm on Eva, and he gives her an expensive necklace and asks her to travel the world with him. She wouldn't, would she? And Katie captures Ryan's attention when he steps into DJ at a friend's party in the bistro. Should Ches be worried? I think so. Last, we drop in on Emmerdale. If Declan's crushed about Katie, he hides it well. This week, he begins a flirtation with Charity over a business dinner, which continues at home farm. Declan's wise to her tactics about the business deal, but their row suddenly turns to passion, and Katie arrives home to find Charity getting dressed. Katie seeks refuge at Jenny's, but returns later in the week to tell Declan she wants them to try again. But has he got a taste for freedom? Kane resumes contact with Chaz, though he tells her Debbie can't find out, while Moira tells Chaz she and Kane are all over. I suspect she's speaking too soon though. He drops off Moira's repaired car, an opportunity for her to tell him she needs to be with someone who loves her, and he responds that she already is. Later, Moira's hopeful when Kane gives her a toothbrush, odd, but he asks if he can keep it at hers, and he soon gets to use it. And Lisa and Zach continue to have problems with Belle when they find risque pictures of her on her phone, while Edna's money woes get worse when she's hit with a four grand bill for roof repairs.